Assuming you're given the number 30, it means you are having three tens and no units, which you can write as three times 10 plus zero times one. That's the meaning of 30. Three multiplied by 10 plus zero multiplied by one. Remember place value in lower grades? Yes, that's exactly what we're doing. But what happens if we decide to switch the numbers to zero, three? Well, this means you have zero here and three here, which means zero times 10 plus three times one. If you observe, the value of the three has changed. It has changed from three tens to just three units. You've moved it from 30 to three. It's just three. So what happens when you move a digit between the tens place and the unit place? You're reducing the value by nine. So every move you make, you're reducing it by nine. Okay, so because this is number three, you have reduced it three times. You just moved it from 10 the first time to one, then you did it for the second and the third. So three times you've reduced the value by nine, just simply, if you look at that, that's three multiplied by nine, which is 27, which is basically the difference between these two numbers. So there's something about the number nine every time you switch the values, okay? Now I just wanna focus on this that's why I chose zero, because I don't want to double the problem. So right now, when you switch the digits of the number 30, a two-digit number, so that 30 becomes 0, 3, you've actually reduced the value by 9 three times, which makes it 27. So let's assume the number we had was not 30. Let's pick another number. So let me say the number originally was 34. So, if I originally had 34, the original question would have been this, and this would have been 4. So, and this would have been 43, and this would have been this, and this would have been this. Let's see what just happened. Let's take the 3. The value of the 3 has switched from 30 to become 3. So there's a reduction of 27, okay? This one has reduced by 27, but what has happened to the four? We have gone from simply having four units to having 40. So the value has increased from four to 40, that's 36, we've added 36 to it. What is the overall change in the value of this number? It is, obviously there's been an increase of nine you see the nine factor is still there. So whenever you interchange, whenever you interchange the digits of a two digit number, there's always a difference or an increase of nine or a multiple of nine. So say this is the question that you're faced with. The sum of the digits of a two digit number is seven. When the digits are interchanged, the number increases by 45. What is the number? Well, I'm going to show you the quick way, and then I'll show you the actual mathematical way. Okay, so the first thing is to show you the quick way to deal with this. They will always give you the sum of the digits because that's how you narrow down your option. And then they tell you what happened when you switched the digits. So the quick way, every time they tell you the change in the digits, all you have to do is decide, um, see, this is the change. The number has increased by 45. So first step, you call it the movement, okay? So the movement will be equal to 45 divided by nine. Always divide by nine. Whatever the, the, the number was, the, the, the difference, the increase or the decrease, don't use plus or minus, just find what the change was. So it's 45 divided by nine, that gives you a five. You know what this five tells you? It tells you the number of steps you have to take to get to the other digit from the original digit. So 
Give me a combination of numbers, or digits rather, for a two-digit number that the difference between the first digit and the second digit will be five. That's the secret to this. So I can make a list that's, a, that's zero, five, or five, zero, or it could be 15 or 51. You can see, oh no, 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 that would be 16 rather, and 61, okay? That would be 16 and 61. It could also be 27 or 72. Um, it could also be 38 or 83, and it could be 49 or 94. Those are the options you have, okay, of numbers that you have to move five steps to get to the other one, okay, whether you're going up or down. Well, what option do we have? Are we moving up or down? When the digits are interchanged, the number increases by, the number goes up. So we're going from small to large. Definitely, the original number must be small since the number increased after we switched. So we're going from small numbers to big numbers. So these are not our options. Our options are the small numbers. So, ah, now you have solved all the problem. The next thing to do is look at the first information given. The sum of the digits is seven. Which of these such that when you add this to this, will you get seven? There's only one option. So the original number was 16 because one plus six will satisfy this. Every other option will not satisfy that. That's the quick way. So just look for the change. It's 45 divided by nine and use it to determine the combination of digits. Zero, five, one, six, because the difference between the two has to be five. That's what you call the movement. Okay. And then the next thing is you, um, you, you find which one will satisfy the first sentence or any other information provided, which is the sum of the digits being equal to seven. That is the trick way, the quick way. But the actual algebraic way is just an expansion of this, okay? And I'm gonna show you what we actually do, which will lead us back to this, because you'll always come back to this fast way. And let me show you what that is. So ideally, the original number Let's say you don't know what those numbers are. So you use X and Y to represent them. So you say the number is X, T, Y. Okay, not X times Y. You know, a, a two-digit number. The real meaning of this two-digit number is 10X plus Y. That was the original number. But when you then switch the digits, it becomes YTX. And YTX will become 10Y plus X. But remember, we were told that when the digits are switched, the number increases by 45. It means for you to get this, you must have added 45 to this. You have to add 45 to this to get this. So you can make an equation out of that. And the equation is gonna look like this. I'm just gonna put the equation on the side. So your equation is gonna look like this. Um, this equation, uh, 10y, plus x will be equal to the original equation 10x plus y plus 45. Okay, so um, let's move all of these down here. So you end up with 10y minus y plus x minus 10x equals 45. This will give you 9y minus 9x equals 45. Now, what is, there's a common factor of nine. Divide through by nine, you'll end up with y minus x equals five. Which is that five? So this is the difference. That's equation one. The second equation tells us that the sum of the digits is seven. That's the first sentence in the question. So the sum of the digits, when you add y to x, will be equal to seven. That's equation two. You can use elimination and solve this. Add the two digits together. You get 2y equals 12. That tells you y equals 6. So the original big number was 6. So what was the small number? You know that when you subtract something from 6, you're going to get 5. What is that thing? It's simply 1. Okay, so it means x equals 1. You can solve that. So this is basically the trick behind it. I hope you got that. You can slow this video down and go over it again. Thank you for watching this video. Never stop learning because those who do have stopped living. My name is Nilton Okewoye. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.